Hey everyone, my name is Aishin, and while I was making my next video, I stumbled upon a Reddit post which highlighted a Yu-Gi-Oh game I didn't even know that existed until today. And it's an arcade exclusive game called Yu-Gi-Oh Monster Capsule, which seems to be based on Yu-Gi-Oh Monster Capsule Breed and Battle, which is a game I covered previously a few days ago. So, because of the sudden nature of this game, and its convenient timing and release date, I've decided to make this game a part of Road to Master Duel, where I'll be doing every video game Konami has released over the years. And thank god I just learned about this one at the right time. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's get this right out of the way. This game is a piece of lost media, as it was released in 1999 and only released in Japanese arcades. So finding information on this game nowadays is rare. It's not listed in the Konami arcade games list or the Yu-Gi-Oh! video games list, so I never knew this game existed until literally today. So thank you, Relax Relapse. If it wasn't for your Reddit post, I wouldn't be making this video. Since this game is an arcade game, it requires players to insert coins to play it. And if the players win, they'll get coin prizes in return. This game is built on that philosophy. And it's basically a quick game that uses Monster Capsule as an attraction to kids to gamble for coins. So here's how the game works. You can insert up to 3 coins at a time. And for each coin you insert, Yugi powers up into his stronger forms, getting stronger cards which multiply the prize rewards. And basically, you toss your cards straight ahead, hoping that you hit one of the rotating Kappamon above. And if you hit one, you'll get coins listed on the Kappamon's head based on the Kappamon's power level. Otherwise, if you miss, you'll get nothing and have to insert more to keep playing. And the last thing is that if you hit a Shining Kappamon, you'll hit a bonus battle where you can get more bonus coins. And that's literally it. There is nothing more to the gameplay of this game, you just insert coins, toss cards at Kappamon, and win coins. All while looking at two blue eyes that are just dancing their heart out. While this game isn't the worst Yu-Gi-Oh! video game I know, as I can at least think of three other Yu-Gi-Oh! video games that are worse than this one. But honestly, this game is a fun little arcade game made for kids. And that's all it is. Damn, this game is fucking cool. Seeing something like this, just a random Yu-Gi-Oh! arcade game that literally has no trace on the internet, to only be brought up 20 years later in a Reddit post by a user. And that just makes things so interesting for me. Because something like this really excites me, and just seeing something like two blue eyes dancing on the screen, to seeing an early form of Kribo in Kappamon, and to see Season Zero Yugi have his original voice actor, and seeing the Capsule Monster chess monsters from the manga being used to. And all these elements together make something really nostalgic for me, as I've only known this game for a day, I just really like how it looks. After all, if something this obscure could exist, what other secrets does the franchise have in store for us? And that really gets my hopes up for the future. And while I didn't spend a lot of time on this game, this game's existence is a complete surprise to me. I felt that if I skipped it, I would be doing it a disservice. But in all, I hope you all liked this quick look into this lost media. And I'll see you all in the next installment of Road to Master Duel. Thanks for watching this quick video I've made. I've got other videos in the works, so stay tuned for those. But before I close this video, I want to thank Sketch the Crow for archiving this game and making it emulatable with MAME because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had the footage I've had here this whole time. If you're interested in this game, I'll be putting some links down below for you to research on. Also, I'll be including the emulated link of this game that I used to record this video. And in all, thank you all for watching this video everyone. And since you're here, go watch my Breed and Battle video. That video is actually pretty good, and if you like this video, you will be sure to like that video. And with that, I'll be taking my leave. And have a great day everyone, and I'll see you in my next video.